Wow. I mean, wow. Obviously, I want to tell you about traveling. Going to strange places, wandering the world in search of knowledge. Being all alone and in doubt about everything. This is travel. We're all travelers, really. We all find ourselves in strange and distant places at some point. Better yet, for you, your great adventures are just about to begin. Some of you will take command of the wheel as I tried to captain the ship through the storm to strange new lands. Some of you will just let it all happen and go placidly amidst the noise and haste. Either way, adventures are coming. The ones you seek and the ones that befall you. Great adventure started up for me at a young age with a prime minister father and a world traveler one to boot. I was born into very unusual circumstances. Strange experiences came at me fast and hard. Like when I was seven and found myself in a grand palace at night in Saudi Arabia, alone in a giant bed in a giant room. I couldn't sleep and I didn't know where my father was. So all alone, I ventured out into the hallways. Giant carpets and mirrors everywhere and no one in sight. I finally found the entrance, glass and steel doors as big as gates and only desert and walls outside. But in the corner of the entrance, I saw a black phone on the floor near a big curtain. I knew my home number and dialed it. But international country codes were still beyond me at seven, and no one could, could be reached to tell me to be brave and wise. By the time I was 17, I was making all the decisions about where to go. The summer after grade 11, I started hitchhiking. I didn't want to be from a famous family or someone with lots of luck and means. I wanted to be small and low and unnoticed, and was willing to endure all the hardships necessary to see new things. It's Christmas, 1992. I'm days away from turning 19. I'm in Treshville, a neighborhood in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, West Africa. I've been traveling for many months. I'm spending $5 a day, and I have a few hundred dollars left in my stash. Treshville is big and busy and poor. I take a shortcut and find myself in a dangerous spot Turning back is not an option. All eyes are on me, the outsider. The walls begin closing in on me. But I'm small and broken and ugly, possibly even dangerous. So what does the street say? What does Trashville say to me? Pas, petit pèlerin. Godspeed, little pilgrim. In the years that follow, I continued walking into so many strange places, into the jungle, under the bombs, to the front lines. But you know what stays with me most about my adventures now? What I hope will stay with you after your great adventures? Kindness. Being a traveler, being a pilgrim, being small, unknown, a little broken, but curious and brave and open, open to everyone without judgment. It brings out the best in people. When you are down and dirty, but still looking up, a fellow human is always there to tend you a hand. I would not be here if this wasn't the case. So travel has taught me compassion, something that you cannot learn when you're comfortable and successful and always at home. We all need a little wasteland in our lives, places of fear and loneliness to be truly open to others. That is what travel's about, the hard path to wisdom and compassion. It's why we not we need not be afraid of strange places and strange people, but instead grow to ready to embrace them. Growing up, being strong in this life of adventure means becoming that fellow human who puts his hand out to the little stranger passing through. So Godspeed, young travelers. Stay brave. Be wise. <laughs>